Greetings my friends, I'm back with my favourites for 2013 makeup. Um, this was a tough one, I have to say, um, because I guess, you know, while you can have some favourites, um, you know, you can have more than one favourite, so um, yeah, that's why it was really tough, um, but I've tried to stick to one product in each of the categories so um but you know it, yeah it was really hard okay um when it comes to primer definitely um the hourglass mineral primer and it's all oil free um it's a mineral primer veil oil free broad spectrum spf 15 anything with an spf rating has to be great now this it's just like putting silk on your face um absolutely fantastic i've been using this for quite some time i'm probably down to about here um so mm. okay when it comes to a tinted moisturizer definitely the origins vitazing which also has an SPF 15. This is my go-to for when I'm having a home day, don't really need to put on makeup, but just want to even out my skin tone a little and, you know, not look quite so bleh. Um, so this is my holy grail um, when it comes to a tinted moisturiser. When it comes to a BB cream, <clears throat> now BB creams, there's so many on the market um, and I literally I swear I've got so many um, BB creams and CC creams so um, there is a difference between BB cream and CC cream so make sure that you know what those differences are because they're not the same thing it depends what kind of a look you want um, because they basically do different things um, so you know, I always thought that a CC cream was the BB cream with colour correction, but it's not. Um, it certainly doesn't have a lot of the things that a BB cream has in it. So you can easily just Google and find out what that is. But when it comes to a BB cream, definitely the Dr. Jart um, BB cream. Being a Korean BB cream, you know, I'd read so many things about how the Korean BB creams are so different to everybody else's and it's right. This has a different feel to it. Um, it's like none of the other ones that I have. It's the only Korean one that, that I have um, and it's hands down beats every single other BB cream that I certainly have. So highly recommend the Dr. Jart BB cream. Um, when it comes to a CC cream I quite like the Chanel CC cream. Um, it's very, very light on my skin, but it seems to do the job. Um, so when I want a nice light sort of coverage, but um, I don't, I certainly want, you know, the redness not to be showing because I do have a lot of red, red patches on my skin. Um, this does the job really nicely. When it's coupled with the... Um, the powder, I can't remember what the powder is called. If I use this, I will use the Chanel powder. Um, it's, I think it's called Le Beige. And it's absolutely fantastic. Somehow the two go together and um, give you a really nice, uh, nice look. Certainly not a flawless finish for me. Nothing would give me a flawless finish. And it's like caked it on really, really thick. Um, when it comes to foundation, I quite like the Chanel uh, Vita Lumiere Aqua. Um, it's ultra light. It's got an SPF 15 in it as well. Um, this gives a great finish. It's um, it's different to the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, in that this is a much more lighter finish. It's a uh, more watery. Well, a Vita Lumiere, Lumiere Aqua sort of suggests that it's it's a watery based foundation. It doesn't have that um, that thick 
creamy substance uh, to it so it goes on beautifully and it just it just covers my skin when I want a full foundation look this is definitely the one I would go for powders now this is interesting um, because it depends on what I'm wearing as to what kind of powder I would use but the one that I like the most out of all of the ones that I own I own quite a few I actually quite like the nude uh, by nature um, mineral powder uh, mineral cover now I use it with the the nude brush which is my favorite foundation mineral brush um, fantastic um, I certainly wouldn't pay the money um, for one of the other uh, top-end brushes when this does the job beautifully um, I love the combination of this with this um, I can just have a light cover or a heavier cover and then I usually use um, this Sigma brush um, just to make sure that I get any excess off um, but this will buff in beautifully um, and I'm not made up today um, and my hair's atrocious I haven't been to the hairdresser for so long and um, and I got absolutely annoyed with it the other day because it was in my face and so I took to it with the scissors my fringe and yeah you can tell can't you oh well yep um when it comes to a highlighter i love the hourglass ambient luminous light um it's beautiful it's such a silky silky powder that just gives your skin a bit of a lift um and without it being too shiny if you know what I mean so love the hourglass luminous light um, concealer I can't go past this one um, this is a I had this for years and it's still going strong um, literally I think I've had this for about four or five years um, this is a Estee Lauder and it's one of these brush type where you wind the bottom comes out I just pat it under my eyes it blends in to my skin it just sort of soaks in then I will just get my um, uh, concealer brush and just pat it and just um, yeah works a treat love it and it stays there um, which is really nice I like it um, I really hope they still make it because I swear I'm going to be coming out um, needing to buy one fairly soon. Okay, bronzers. I'm not a big bronzer fan. Um, I have enough colour <laughs> on my skin that comes through that I don't really need to, to add any more. Um, but what I do use is this She um, Blush and Illuminizer. Now... I use this as a highlight. This says sun kissed highlights for cheeks and eyes and it's in sunflower. Now I just do this around maybe a little bit on my nose, my chin um, and contour a little but it's fine. It works for me. A lot of the, the bronzers I have are just too dark for me and um, I just can't seem to apply them properly. That um, you know I just I can work with quite well blush um, definitely the tart um, ever since I got this I am really loving it it's it's a beautiful blush for my skin um, it's not too it, it's sort of that earthy color which I quite like for my skin um, so definitely the tart but again you know there's two or three others that I I use as well that I that I like so um, but if I had to pick one that was the one I picked okay now we come to um, um, some brushes now I do like the beauty blender but I've still 
got to work with it a bit more. Um, so I tend to use that or this Real Techniques stippling brush for foundation. I've actually, that's a bit red um, because I've been using cream blushes and I've been using this to um, smooth them out. So they would be, it's either these two or my fingers that I would use to apply my foundation. Blush brush, definitely the Real Techniques blush brush. So that's the brushes. Now eyes. Okay. Um, now I've picked these two are pretty much my go-to everyday ones um, that I kind of use as primers or standalone. Um, I've spoken about this before. This is the Laura Mercier. Um, metallic uh, in alloy not sure if you can still get that now um, but the other one I love is this Estee Lauder cream um, it's sort of like a rosy pink um, but it's it's quite natural on my eyes and just gives a lift when I don't really want to um, um, you know heavily eye made up or I'm in an absolute rush I'll just put a little bit of this on with a bit of eyeliner and mascara and I'm good to go I can do it all in you know 30 seconds so I will use this now this is um, number 18 pink pearl double wear stay in place um, cream shadow so I love it I've got about three of these and um, but this is the color that I use the most when it comes to a palette I think I ended the year, I've, you know, I bought a lot of palettes, believe me. Um, the one that I like the most is actually this Skin palette. Um, I love the palette itself, the colours, but I also love um, the way that it, it has this protective cover that you just, oh, that just flips over. The colours on this are just divine because they're not, they're quite pigmented. Um, but they're not over the top for me. Um, they just, um, the way they go on, they're really nice. Um, so I quite like these. I love the variation in this palette. If I was going away, this is a palette that I would pick up because it gives me my neutrals, but it also gives me a little bit of colour. So, um, I love the range of colours in this, I love the consistency of them and I love the way they look on my my, um, my eyes because they're not um, too shimmery but they're not flat either, they're not totally matte, um, they've just got a little bit of lift in them and they just seem to work for, for my eyes. Um, when it comes to pencil, I am loving this um, Urban Decay. 24 7 pencil just love it it's probably you know I thought the Mac one was easy to apply but this beats it hands down really um, so this year I will be probably buying a couple of others uh, of these Urban Decay 24 7 really like them um, without applying any um, shadow over the top they do bleed into my into my skin so I do have to um, use a, a shadow to to kind of keep them in place mascara now the mascara that I probably love the most is definitely the MAC extended play lash um, there's a couple of others that I really like at the moment as well but this is my go-to um, I think I've said this before, what I love about it is the size of its brush. Um, I don't get it everywhere. Um, and this has lasted so long, uh, which is really good. The other one that I, I probably would use in conjunction with this is this um, Estee Lauder Double Wear because this has a, a lash primer at one end and it's got the mascara at the other end. I really like the Estee Lauder um, mascara primer which for me um, I've got very small thin eyelashes but I'm not a 
um, I'm not a person who probably would use uh, false lashes. Um, probably will try them one day, but just not yet. Um, so I find that the primer tends to extend, give my little, um, give my eyelashes a little bit more substance, um, so that when the mascara goes on, um, they're thicker and longer. So I really like them. Uh, for my eyebrows, the only thing that I probably would always use is some sort of highlighter underneath my eyebrows. I'm trying to grow them out just a little bit. I haven't um, done anything to them for quite a while because um, A, I haven't had time, but B, um, I think I, I over plucked at one stage and I ended up with really thick one end and really thin at the other end and didn't like it. So I'm just letting them grow out and I'll start again. Last but not least is um, lips and my favourite lipstick is the Bare Minerals um, Moxie Tape Charge. It's a lovely um, neutral colour for my um, for my lips and with the um, the gloss over the top it's just lovely. It doesn't um, it's quite creamy. Um, I have very, very, very dry lips. So a lot of lipsticks, I can't wear a lot of the cheaper lipsticks because they um, they kind of clump on the edges of my lips and I'm having to wipe them and, and I get great big bits of lipstick um, off them. So. I have to go more top end um, and I always when I go I will ask for the you know the most moisturizing lipstick that they have um, I won't buy anything less so there you have it that's my makeup favorites for 2013 so I'll come back with the miscellaneous things that were my favorites for 2013 please comment below and um, I'll catch you next time bye for now